Hi, welcome back to Cotton Creations. Today we're gonna be making a curry cauliflower potato and chickpea dish. I actually got this recipe from my mom. So when I was non-vegan, uh, my mom used to make this really good, delicious uh, curry chicken. And I still love that flavor palette, so I decided to veganize it uh, with her help. And so, that's how we came up with the curry cauliflower chickpea potato dish. If you are interested in a mouth watering experience, then you should stay tuned because you don't want to miss this. So for the first step, we're going to take our cut and wash cauliflower and marinate it in the jerk seasoning overnight, preferably, but at least for an hour. So next we're going to do our roux. We're going to go ahead and put some red bell pepper, some onion, some jalapenos and some minced garlic or garlic cloves into either a blender, a chopper or a food processor. And then we're going to just go ahead and mix all those together and blend them till they're nice and smooth. Now for the seasonings, we have curry, coriander, cumin, black pepper, a little bit of nutmeg, and some cayenne pepper. So we're gonna add that to our uh, pureed blended veggies, and we're gonna go ahead and continue to mix that very well. And this is the consistency that it should be once you are done mixing all of the ingredients. Next, you wanna go ahead and put some oil in your pot and we're gonna cook the roux for about six minutes and you wanna to continue to stir it around so that it doesn't burn uh, the whole time that it's cooking. And then once it's ready, you wanna add in your potatoes and go ahead and coat those with the roux and make sure all the potatoes are very well coated. And then to that, we're gonna add some veggie stock or broth um, to that. And then we're gonna bring that up to a boil. Once your potatoes are halfway done, we're gonna add the jerk cauliflower as well as some garbanzo beans, also known as chickpeas. And then you can also add in carrots or peas or any other veggies that you want in your dish. And then we're going to go ahead and also add salt at this point. And make sure you taste it to bring it up to your liking. And then we're gonna let everything simmer till it's done and then we'll be ready to plate and eat. So what'd you guys think? Um, I can't wait for you guys to try this out, like for real, for real. It's amazing. Like you probably won't ever be able to eat curry the same again without this recipe in your life. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this one, make sure you subscribe like right now. Make sure you drop a comment below and let me know what you guys think um, of this dish, if you made something similar, how to taste, um, and all of that greatness. So thank you guys for watching.